Hi, welcome to Holy Habitus. My name is Phil, and today apparently is Blue Monday, which statistically speaking is the most depressing day of the year. So there you go. I hope that what I have to say will cheer you up and sustain you and encourage you during a difficult time. Um, but the story we're looking at today uh, from the one year Bible reading plan is Genesis 37 and the story of Joseph. This is the first time we meet Joseph, a man whose story is going to dominate the rest of the book of Genesis from this point inwards and whom God is going to do, use to do amazing things. And we meet him here as a young, unformed, uh, rough around the edges, um, cocky as anything young man who has more ego than he knows what to do with. And uh, unfortunately, though he senses the potential that God's placed in him, has a sense of revelation of that through these dreams, he lacks the requisite wisdom and diplomacy to know what to, to do with that and how to share that with his nearest and dearest. And the way that he goes about things causes his brothers to end up hating him. In, and at the first opportunity, they shove him in a hole, fake his death and sell him into slavery. That's not a Blue Monday moment, I don't know what, what is. Because this young man, uh, the favoured son of his father with his coat of many colours, uh, has a, a future laid out for him, full of potential, vista of endless possibility, and suddenly in a moment, it's all taken away from him. It's all truncated and constricted and frustrated, and he enters a tunnel, uh, at the end of which there seems to be no light. A grey line, um, as he starts out as a servant of a man he's never met, in a foreign country he's never been to, where they all speak a language that he doesn't. And so suddenly his life uh, enters this sort of tunnel mode. And he's in that dark tunnel for, for years and years, literally. Now we know um, uh, the whole of the story, we know that actually God uses that experience, that tunnel of formation as I'm going to call it, to form Joseph into the kind of man who has um, patience and virtue and uh, graciousness and kindness and great wisdom and discernment and servant-heartedness. That uh, forms him as a man who, by the time he gets to the end of the tunnel and steps uh, up to the plate next to Pharaoh, is able to use those gifts that he's naturally been born with, harnessed by the virtue that uh, God has formed in him through that tunnel time, uh, so that he's able to save not just his brothers and his family, but but thousands, if not tens of thousands of people from the privations of starvation and famine. So, so God uses him powerfully, but God has to get him there, has to form him as a person, and he has to go through this tunnel of formation. He tries to sidestep that many times, he tries to climb out of it by doing well, um, but false accusation trips him back in. He tries to escape it by saying to the wine taster, remember me to Pharaoh, but he forgets, because God has a program for him, a formation program. So today, I don't know whether you feel sometimes that you're in a, a tunnel of formation, it just feels like a difficult place, a constricted place, a frustrating place. Your hopes and dreams seem nowhere near being realised and you wonder where God is in all this. Well, be encouraged by the story of Joseph because God was with him throughout. There were signs of his favour and blessing wherever he was. And actually, God was just as interested in Joseph as a person and the kind of person he was going to become as he was in what he was going to achieve through Joseph. And although it was a difficult time, a constricted time, a tunnel time, actually God formed him in the, the nature and the character of Christ. And so that's what's up for grabs for us um, when we enter these tunnel times, as God turns our focus from the external things that he would do through us and, and helps us instead to do that internal soul work that's going to make us more like Jesus. So be encouraged today if you're in Blue Monday mode. There is light at the end of the tunnel and it's more glorious than you could ever possibly imagine.